So, um, so basically what uh, we did in um, this AI series, which we did, um, we have been uh, learning this basics of AI concepts, Azure AI specifically. Um, in the week one, we did um, learn about the ML, uh, the you know basic of ML and other things, and then Azure AI, um, and it, we did automated AI and other things, and uh, and week two we did uh, computer vision. Uh, we did build custom vision, uh, face recognition, and other things. All those uh, demos which were uh, done, and then uh, we did an amazing session for uh, speech and uh, language, where uh, it's more of like uh, speech to text, text to speech, language synthesis, neural language. Uh, neural synthesis and other things, so voice and other things, different kinds of voice and other things. So all those demos were done. And if you want to uh, learn more about it, uh, by the way, uh, you can just go to that uh, URL which is there, aka.ms/azure-ai series. Uh, all of these have been covered already, and uh, this was the last part of the series, uh, basically. Uh, and this is a path where you can go and. You know, uh, these are the things which you can learn and go and uh, take up the Azure AI uh, fundamental certifications. So that's that's the whole idea uh, behind uh, these sessions. Uh, it's not like you're going to uh, spend. Um, you know, it's like you come and attend these sessions and you'll get get to certification. It's just that this is one of the paths. So you go and deep dive into all of these. Uh, that's when you'll be able to uh, go and uh, you know take up that exam. And by the way, just to introduce myself before we deep dive into this session, uh, that's me and um, did a bit of coding at, um, in, in IBM for nine years. And, uh, you know, I, I, will, I'm, I love DevOps. So uh, that's the reason I joined uh, Dev as part of the DevOps solution architect for HCL. And I was head of DevOps at Blackburger, which is a startup. And uh, I did found a company and I was part of the uh, developer advocacy of DigitalOcean. Uh, at Microsoft, this is not my uh, first role. Uh, the first role at Microsoft was to um, you know, uh, build the strategy and manage the investments and other things from a developer uh, ecosystem perspective. And uh, currently I'm part of the uh, cloud and AI engineering team of Microsoft. So. Just a bit of introduction, and if you have any questions, uh, these are my digital coordinates. You can definitely join me here and um, you know connect with me and ask questions to me and other things. So um, while we are doing this AI series, uh, I had launched something called as Cloud Skill Challenge. Uh, this Cloud Skill Challenge is uh, pretty much uh, this is the link in the QR code which covers end-to-end uh, -end, uh, AI series, all the learn modules um, in this um, uh, specific series. So just pick it up and uh, just go back and um, you know, if you can execute all of these uh, modules, it will it will help you. Unfortunately, it is, it is going to end in next 15 hours, by the way. So you can just pick up those uh, specific um, modules and uh, complete it as soon as possible in this weekend or something. Cool. Okay, so basically, uh, what are we discussing in today's session? Is it's more about Azure Search, uh, which is cognitive search, and uh, which is also called as Azure Cognitive Search. It's very simple, right? You have data, and um, the data needs to be um, it could it can be on different source uh, either it can be in the format of a pdf it can be in the format of a text file or it can be in a sql database mongodb uh, cosmos db of azure and you know it can be in different uh, formats unstructured structured and other things all we need is a kind of a tool or a platform where i just go into your um, you know, uh, data and that platform actually extracts uh, the information and creates a kind of an index, kind of a structure 
where I can uh, build search capability on top of that. So uh, take this as like you have in you know you have you know data you're ingesting that data and there is a you know extractor and that extractor uh, is the platform where you know the platform is uh, taking care of all of these things and then uh, it it just creates an index so what what does the index mean is it's basically a structuring the data and uh, not just structuring it's also uh, making sure how to find these data and how do how do you use this data uh, specifically when somebody does a search and how to go to this search as soon as possible when you somebody runs a search on that so it's pretty uh, easy way to put this as a kind of a uh, structuring that data into like a SQL data or anything else and then there is a search capability on top of that so how, that is what um, Azure Cognitive Services give you a kind of a platform to build it and uh, obviously uh, you can take it further you know in this particular slide you can see right so there is data uh, structured or unstructured and there is a platform uh, like Azure Cognitive Search where it extracts all of these data, creates an index and stores that data somewhere. And uh, that data obviously is in the format of a JSON and you are you can either ingest into uh, Power BI to visualize the data or you can use the Azure uh, machine learning to build on predictions using these uh, JSON data or, or probably use this particular data in your application as well in your uh, mobile or web app or anything. So NetNet, um, all it's doing is you have uh, data, you're using the platform to create uh, structuring the data. Uh, obviously, it gives you a lot of uh, controls. You can also build your custom uh, skill as well. We will go through that. What is what is skill and other things, and then there is a store where you can store it and then um, use that through a JSON uh, REST APIs, right? So I'll not waste much time in slides. So um, we will go back and spend some time on the learn module which is part of the cloud skill challenge which I shared with you. So uh, if you go to the cloud skill challenge, you will see this uh, module. So it's a very simple module to understand um, the cognitive Azure cognitive search. And as I told you, uh, this is just an example here. There is a travel agency which has a lot of data from brochure to um, understanding of reviews of hotels um, and review of those uh, places where customers are visiting. They have good insight, so they can use that insight to provide uh, some kind of data to their customers so that they can plan their, um, you know, plan their uh, travel using that specific data. So this is this data is, uh, you know, you know, either structured or unstructured, right? If brochure is obviously unstructured, uh, you know, different hotels in different places, they have different kinds of brochures and it could be all different altogether. And it has, it's basically, it has images and various other things. So data need to be extracted from these images and other things as well. So that is the reason why it is called, it's not just the Azure search, but it is Azure cognitive search where, because it uses the cognitive skills, um, uh, not just the, um, you know, specifically search skill, but also Azure Cognitive skills, which is the Azure Cognitives to extract information, uh, which we did. And by the way, uh, one you know, few of the examples uh, we did in um, when we uh, did the computer vision, where we did a build a custom, um, custom, uh, in a custom vision and other things, right? So uh, that's something which uh, which defines all those those things. Okay, perfect. So um the you know it's, it has three steps okay so uh, you index the document and use the cognitive skills to build that index and then uh, create that index and put it in the store uh, to analyze that's what we saw in the uh, in the uh, slide as well so that's what we did and if i go to the next step 
uh, this is a simple one. Like it's creating the uh, Azure Cognitive Search and other things. And obviously to scale, there is replications and partitions, you know, right? When you have index, like if you have been using MongoDB, you will know uh, how do we build replications of data and uh, how do we do partitions with index, right? So that's the similar concepts uh, which has been uh, discussed here. This is from a scale perspective, so I don't want to go deep dive into it. But as I told you, um, you know, these are the components of of the search, right? Which is the data source. Uh, data source uh, can be of uh, various things, right? It, as I told you, it is unstructured, which is stored in any of the objects, uh, object storage, or it is a table, which is uh, Azure SQL database, or it can be a documents, which is there. Uh, these are the things which is already there and it can be pushed you know uh, basically a simple data file also or it could be a json format P, you know pdf formats and other things so uh, you know skill set is one of the component what is a skill set a skill set is nothing but what are those uh, areas where you want to uh, extract data so it uses ai it uses intelligent system uh, to extract data this is this has been provided as a platform uh, through the azure cognitive search you can also add your own skill set uh, that is also something called as custom skill sets you can uh, build on top of uh, skill sets which is already been enabled for you so you just take all of these things um, it's already been inbuilt on the platform we will do one of the examples and we will see how exactly it all fits in but that's what uh, it does and once you submit uh, you know you tell uh, you know uh, what needs to be done uh, on the data that that is the language uh, the document is written you want to either uh, extract images or image text from the uh, from the documents which has been submitted or the data which has been submitted or you want to see some you know score uh, and other things, or you want to see uh, some kind of uh, phrases uh, being captured, uh, or you can, as I told you, you can also custom uh, skill it. So these are default ones, but there is custom one. So all you need to do is, you know, you have data source, you have to make sure which of those skills you want uh, from, you know, to be extracted from the data source and submit it to the indexer. Indexer is an engine. It's basically, it is running on top of all of this. It takes the, what are the skill sets we need to create and it, you know, creates the index um, using the indexer and then index has been created. Once the index has been created, you can enable uh, configures following attributes. I'll talk about this, you know, uh, you know, uh, when we see one of the uh, example uh, as well. It is very simple. Like you have some couple of data, and you want this particular uh, index. Whether I want to do a search, whether I want it to be a filter, whether I want it to be a sortable thing, or whether uh, it is a retrievable data. Right? It is. It's kind of, um, you know, it's uh, it's like. You know, let me show you an example as well, just to show you an example. This link, uh, if you want to learn how to use, uh, let me share this link with you all. Where is chat? Okay, so I've shared the link. So basically, you know, this is to demonstrate uh, the cognitive search. So what it does is, let me show you. Here is where you can search. And when somebody search something here, um, you can also type wrong. Uh, you know, your your code can. I mean, the uh, spell alphabets, uh, the spelling of something which you are searching can be wrong. You want it to be auto filtered and auto suggestions. Search suggestions should come in right. So this is something which you can. Uh, see right. So here, if this is enabled here, so when I say uh, search suggestions, uh, if you see here, uh, these are the things which is enabled on top of that. So it has to be searchable, filterable, keywords using keywords show show up these things, uh, and those are the things which you need to enable on this index. If it is enabled, uh, you can easily use this one. So if I go to the next one, right? So here. Uh, as this is the same thing. So if you miss the spelling, uh, it should be able to uh, search the exact one which I mentioned as well. Um, the same thing. And then again, it's a 
uh, this was specifically for uh, searching something you know uh, very important things which you want to search from a location perspective so there is an uh, in index which has been set from a location perspective right so you can enable that as uh, those things so here you can see here uh, these are the you know um, facets and other things which is there where you can uh, you know, bring different things here, uh, drop downs and other things. And this is uh, you know you can create a pagination as well. Uh, these are all provided uh, by the um, you know Azure Cognitive Search itself, right? You can enable it and you can say okay, score this in this way from a relevance way score it uh, and create a JSON format of this um, and create a pagination of this. Everything you can uh, mention it when you are building the index. And that is where uh, this component comes into picture. OK, the, you can enable it. We will see that in an example. I'll show you how exactly you can enable it and disable it uh, and how we, how these attributes work. And um, from a indexing process perspective, how does it you know, index happen? Um, this is something. It's a very high level. Uh, I just want to talk about. Uh, in a you know, uh, it's like it's too di uh, deep. Like how this cognitive works uh, in the back end, right? How this platform works in the back end. So first, first of all, what it does is it picks up all the metadata. It's a default ones, right? The metadata of any data is nothing but uh, your uh, specifically the owner of uh, owner of this particular file the author uh, the timestamp uh, you know where, you know when it was modified created and other things so this is this is a very uh, you know default data which is available for a specific you know uh, data you are ingesting into the um, azure cognitive search uh, but again, you know, you want to enable a couple of things uh, on top of this uh, before you uh, go and submit it to indexer, right? So one is obviously images. You want to extract data from images. You want different languages uh, convert from this language to that language, uh, from our English language to French or Hindi or something, and see what it is. Capture data from the images those that is also available as part of this so which is optical character recognition uh, which we did discuss uh, when we did uh, the uh, computer vision session so basically you're capturing text out of these images uh, that is something which is available and uh, obviously you can merge content uh, you can create an index of merging different um, things. Uh, either you want to merge images, uh, which is out there, two image, uh, two text image, text uh, from that image and create a, some kind of uh, information where uh, if somebody is searching for something and you can uh, show that information. So you can structure it in, in a way. So that is how uh, this works. And searching on index, uh, these are all uh, straightforward. You can do a full text search. Uh, you can apply filtering and sorting. Uh, as I told you, right, this is where you can go back here and you can apply filtering and sorting, right? So you can go and apply uh, sorting and in most recently added high to low and other things and all of these things uh, can be applied on top of this. Um, it's, it provides you all those uh, filters as well. And uh, that's what has been discussed here and uh, obviously you can do the enhancer as i told you search as you type so somebody is typing something you know right when you go into google or anything you just type something and it starts showing you some kind of um, suggestions or autocompletes and other things so all of these things are uh, built via this uh, tool itself where you can enable that and say okay this is uh, the most easiest way you can run through this index. So those are things which you can do, and obviously the scoring and you know creating a you uh, know boost uh, boosting that particular um, specific uh, output, right? So this has been scored as the highest for something, uh, which which is like relevance, or it can be like salary high to low. Uh, you know this is the uh, you know, this should be the top when somebody is uh, sorting in this format. Uh, that's what you can enable in the 
um, scoring and other things, which is there. Obviously, the synonyms when you search uh, that is also can be a part of your index. So a lot of things you can you should understand about your data. And when you just push that information into the um, Azure Cognitive Search, you'll be able to see this uh, as an output, right? You can see um, uh, index being created, and once your index uh, is been created, once you put the skills and in create the index, uh, you will see the complete uh, list of things which you want to um, enable uh, attributes on top of that. It can be different kinds of attributes, uh, like I told you, the filters which is there. Those are all attributes. So, anyways, we'll see that in the exercise uh, which we are going to do now. Um, by the way, if you don't have um, an account, what you can do is just go to this module, sign in and launch a lab. Uh, you can launch a lab. Uh, this lab will be enabled for four hours and you can run all of these uh, uh, techniques there. Uh, for now, we can just execute a couple of things. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, this is uh, the exercise which is there. Uh, just go here and click on this. Uh, you will see uh, this exercise. I don't know why it is taking so long to open. OK. So we will just uh, right now execute this. So we will go into the portal and uh, see how to create uh, Azure Cognitive Service. Uh, not Cognitive Service, Azure. Uh, first we will create Cognitive Search. OK, so you can see. So nothing is there as of now. I'm creating everything from fresh and uh, not even data has not been ingested. So we will ingest our data and we will see how exactly everything fits in here, right? So I'll just choose a resource group. I'll give it a name. Uh, Wiki 001 and we will choose one of the central US. Change this one to basic. OK. Um, I think it's a uh, don't need to think about scale as of now, partition and other things. OK, let it be public. It's OK. Review. So all I'm executing is this basically. This particular module which is there. You can see, you know, it has a couple of uh, steps to do it. So that's exactly I'm um, executing. OK, now we are creating a search service. Uh, while this is getting created, we can also go back and create a cognitive service. <coughs> OK. So in cognitive, OK, this has been done. So service is ready. We will create all cognitive service, right? We don't need to multipurpose one. So we'll go there, create a multi-purpose cognitive service and connect that to. Just note this, uh, I have to make sure that it's there in the same resource group and it uses the same um, region. So that's something which we need to be very sure. Um, same, it has to be region wise. Let's give it a name. We'll give Wikibytes and we will take this one and anything else? Nothing. So simple.
we just review and just create. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I've just created a search service, uh, a platform for us to build the search uh, specifically. And I am creating a cognitive service, as I told you, right, uh, to capture those image uh, text from those images uh, and to run a couple of skills uh, from an AI perspective, uh, we are reusing these cognitive skills uh, for the, from a search perspective. So that is the reason why we need to connect the cognitive service with the Azure uh, cognitive search. OK, so that's uh, uh, that's the reason why I'm also deploying this one. It's not specifically only search service. Uh, while we do this, we also need, um, you know, a storage account because we will be uh, doing. We'll be adding data into the storage account, which is the blob storage. So we go here, create a new storage account. I have no idea why it is so slow today. OK, so here also we'll be using. This resource group we we'll give it a name. We'll give it wiki store. We'll go and take the same central US. We'll take the performance and we will take the local redundancy. There's no special thing. And just go into networking, networking, encryption, tags, reviews. These are all default. Uh, things which I have taken, but again, if the different things you need to take uh, a deep uh, look when when you are deploying something in production. Okay, so now if we we will have all of these things done. All we need to do is copy the data. Once the storage account is created, we'll create a blob storage um, with through a container and then we'll just you know add that data there and uh, just extract the data. Uh, we'll create that. Uh, uh, we'll go and extract that data from the cognitive uh, search, right? Azure search, and then we will see how exactly it works. Let's go. We have the storage now. OK. Go to the store. It's pretty slow today. Network. Hopefully, demo guard is with me. Sorry, there is a question. Can you please review the service which are created in resource group once? Why so? I mean, I didn't get your question. Can you repeat? So. Containers, create a container. So create a new container. Right, we'll name it as store. Not required. 
blob okay create Oh, that that might have been deleted. Uh, so you want to see what all we have created in that? OK. All resources. I'll show you. So these are the services which has been created. Storage account. And cognitive service. And then search service. Okay. And when I go into uh, this container, uh, these are three things which we have created now. And in this container, we're going to add data now. Uh, sorry, I, I think there is some network issue. It's pretty slow. So I'm pretty going pretty slow here. OK, let's go to containers. Let's go to store. And we can upload. Data. With files here. We'll just open. Go, go to 22 data review. So even um, you can upload this, uh, you know, uh, data through uh, code as well through CLI, but I'm just uploading it here uh, so that we can see everything. OK. Upload, OK. So this particular data is uh, is basically the reviews. Uh, I'll just open that for you, right? Uh, just give me a minute. While it is getting uploaded, I'm not able to go here. Okay. Let's see this. OK, this got uploaded. I'll also upload the other data. Right now I just uploaded only one set of data, which is through documents, demo days, AI. Um, let me go to 22 and data. He, these are reviews, hotel reviews and other things. These are brochures. So these are brochures which we need to also upload. So I'm uploading brochures also. OK, let it get uploaded. I'll just show you the what is there in those file ones so that you are aware how exactly data will look right. So. OK, let me bring those things here. So you can see this, right? These are this is the kind of data. This is the brochure. It's a very different, right? This is this can be in different formats uh, for different, you know, for different places, and this can be a different, uh, you know, 
reviews, different kinds of reviews uh, for different places, right? So this is the kind of data which uh, being uploaded now. On top of this kind of data, it's been, you know, we are cracking the code. Uh, you know, basically we are breaking the data into indexes and making sure it is stored as an index. And whenever we done, we do run search on top of this. It goes through that index and provides us uh, an amazing search experience on this data. So let us go back and see whether it's got uploaded. Um, yes, upload been completed, I believe. Yes, we should have. We didn't, didn't do. Where's the data? Okay, load more. Mm, load more. Okay, all the brochures is also here. So everything is here. So we'll go back uh, to all the resources and we have these resources, right? So basically, um, we have specific data now. So what we need to do is uh, from that same thing, you know, we just need to go to the search service which we created. And here are the couple of things which we should be doing. One is the import data. A simple uh, way to do with this is, is to uh, import data. So I hope everybody is able to see the screen because there's someone who's saying we can't see the screen. Cool. And there is import data. So if I click on this import data now, um, existing data store, or we can say Azure Blob Storage, and data source name. Uh, we can call it a name called this. And because it's uh, one of the company, so content and metadata default, everything is here. Um, passing is definitely default. Choose existing one which is this one, which we have. It will ask for the store. I'll just select that one. I'm just selecting uh, the blob storage, okay? So that is the path which I have chosen. So that is the you know thing which we have stored. And uh, manage entity is none. Container name is, um, we can give anything. Store is the container name. Obviously we use that. Um, and obviously you can add some description so you can say uh, review data and go to the cognitive skills okay now it is validating so basically what you did was we had these reviews and brochures and we took these review, you know, reviews and brochures uh, for a specific travel agent. We just added that data in the storage. And then through that storage, uh, we have come to the uh, Azure um, you know, uh, search, cognitive search, and we are creating uh, index, right? So we have just uploaded the data. We have to enrich it now. So we go here and say, okay, we will choose cognitive service. So uh, it will say attach cognitive service and you will say select your cognitive service. You selected it. Uh, this is the cognitive services which we which we have created. So we have just uh, selecting that or else you can create new one. We will add a couple of uh, enrichment, right? So there are a couple of things which we need to do. So one is we are enabling uh, OCR, which is which is to extract text from the images, which is there. Some brochures would have uh, data in the image, right? So that's what uh, we are doing. So I'm just taking that and then, you know, uh, basically, um, so, you know, source data, we need to enable the merge content. So basically, whenever there is a text extracted, it creates a one kind of a merge content from the index perspective. And then we enrich a couple of things uh, from a source field and enable this one. Um, that's what we are doing. So basically, I'm I'm just you know uh, going through that uh, AI uh, engineering 
which whatever is there here, right? So this is what I'm trying to execute, right? So as I told you, so there are a couple of things which we need to uh, enable from a skilling perspective. So what are the things which we are going to enable? Uh, we will be looking at location uh, because this is more from a location perspective. So we are going to pick up location and these are the skills. These are already inbuilt skills. Uh, as I told you, the skills are uh, been inbuilt. You can also add your own custom uh, skills as well. So this is location which we are going to take pick and then we are going to pick key phrases. We're going to pick languages. Uh, we're going to take a uh, couple of more from our image perspective. We are going to create tags. We're going to create uh, captions. OK, so these are the things. These are the only things which we are going to do. We don't we're not extracting people's name, organization name and other things or translating something to different languages. Uh, those are things which we are not doing here, but you can do that as well. So that's one of the thing and uh, what we are doing next. So we go into. This is from a storage perspective, I believe, so we don't need to do that. We just need to go and um, once we have done with this uh, keys uh, meta storage. That is where is it? Ensure the key in the meta storage is the name. I don't think so. We need this one because we don't want to save this anywhere as of now. To a knowledge store, we are not doing it. OK, we have done the customized target and then we are going into the seventh step. Um, Index name to index view. Which one did I miss? This is correct. Oh, OK. OK, this is not we are not doing the storage as of now, so we just go and customize it and add it to the index. So, so we don't need to do anything. I mean, we are in that uh, specific example. Um, we are not storing it, so that's where I was confused. So we are just customizing it a uh, couple of things. So here we need to give a different name. Instead of this name, we can call it as. Um, indexer. And this has to be storage path. Uh, that's what uh, we mentioned there. And um, it is just a, these are just key. So this is just a key which you are going to create on top of this index. So if every index, uh, all of these index which is there needs to be, uh, you know, we need to enable those keys. So there are a couple of things, okay. Uh, so these are all index which has been created now. Uh, these are things, uh, these are the metadata and other things, key phrase. Uh, image tags and captions which we have enabled, right? All of this uh, we need to either make it as a searchable content. So when I say searchable content, what needs to be done is, for example, here there is something called as data, right? Uh, and to just keep type data and search. Uh, this is completely, if you see here, this is a highlighted one, data, and you can see data analyst and data scientist, right? So something like that. So. Uh, these are the things which you uh, enable here, right? So this is either searchable content. Uh, this is a searchable one, something something like that, and making it, uh, you know, uh, the other one which is um, sortable and other things is basically a couple of things which you can sort as well. Uh, sort it based on salary, right? Only salary kind of a thing. Uh, you can make it as a sortable. So anything which has been indexed on top of uh, salary, you can make it as a sortable. So those are the things which you can do here. So it's it's so you need to enable this one. These are the type which is already been default. It has been picked, but you can also make modifications of that. 
there are a couple of things which we are going to do uh, from that specific thing. So uh, from a storage perspective, we are going to make it uh, re retrievable, filterable and uh, sortable. And uh, we're going to make last modification as well. Uh, we're going to make sure they're also having all of this. So whenever we do last modification search, uh, we can do a couple of things. Uh, storage name as well. Uh, we can go back and try these things. Uh, then there is author, which is again for author specifically, we can do a search and we can enable everything for that. So that's the um, because we want to search based on who is who is authored it or something. If you are searching based on somebody's author's name, uh, you can search, you can filter it, you can, uh, you know, in, in, in fact, we can also add it as a you know retrievable and, and sortable kind of a thing, right? When when you search for a couple of authors, uh, that is something which is there. And then from a location perspective, you just want to make sure it is uh, filterable and searchable and key phrases as well and then lang language as well. So I'm just creating an indexer out of this. Now what I've done is, you know, there is data. Uh, data is in the some kind of a store you know, unstructured data taken. The, you know, I'm taking that unstructured data and uh, creating some skills, adding some skills on top of that. You know, there are either retrieve author's name, retrieve uh, image, you know, image uh, from image, you retrieve text and other things. Uh, I'm just adding those things on top of that, and I'm enabling whether the you know uh, whether these kind of uh, you know indexes uh, needs to be um, you know either uh, needs to be sortable or retrievable or it should have uh, some kind of uh, filterable and other things. Once you have done all these things, once you have set this up. Uh, you just go and create the indexer. So when you click on the create indexer, it, everything gets created. So indexer is running on top of this, right? So basically, um, just go to indexer, name it as a some indexer, uh, vs indexer, and other things. You can also uh, schedule this index. Basically, and we are just doing it once. Uh, there is nothing much uh, advanced wise. Uh, we are just uh, yeah, it's, these are encoding and other things. So this is something which we can uh, generally do, and then just submit uh, to create a data uh, thing. Everything else is the same by default. So now we are just creating it on the platform. So once it has been created, we can run search on top of this uh, and uh, see how exactly these things can be. Uh, executed. So let's go and search a couple of things. There's something called a search explorer. So if you go to the search explorer, once it's created, I hope it is created. This is one of the string. You can search if it is ready. Yeah, so you can see it's the is the output of JSON. So we, I'm just running some search query. Um, this query uh, is just count is equal to true, uh, where score is equal, it's scoring things and everything. And if you see here, metadata has been picked up um, and these are some of the custom things uh, which is just picking some key phrases. It is picking from the content which is there. So all of these things is there. So there are a couple of things which you can run, right? So uh, basically show me all of uh, uh, the selected ones. So if I run different queries, uh, we can see different things. Right, so you can see here it's it's only uh, picking those things which has been provided in the uh, content, right? So it has got 72 to different type of uh, count. Uh, it is showing me the count number of search results, and then it is showing me uh, the different things which I've asked. So metadata storage, uh, it is coming from this PDF, uh, author who is was the reviewer, and then probably. Uh, the location. So there are a couple of things which is just picked up. 
So similarly, you can do a lot of search on top of this. Uh, there is a filtration. There is, um, you know, you can build a lot of uh, things. So uh, let me show you how to use filter as well. So all of these things can now we can build it as a UI. OK, I'll show you how to do that uh, on a UI. You don't really have to uh, build anything specific. So it is basically uh, wherever there is New York and uh, search for New York and uh, number of count and uh, filter through reviewer only from a specifically for New York. So right. So similarly, this is uh, the uh, data which we can see. So let us go back. Let me show you a very different one, which is. Um, so now we have all of this ready. This is something which I am also trying for the first time. Uh, hopefully demo goes are with me. So I'll just pick up the key here. And I hope there is. Uh, explore search. Where do I find the index? Jason. OK, this is the JSON format, right? Hopefully this will work. They have created something called as Azure Search. Um, this generator uh, to test it out and you can build a uh, simple UI as well uh, with this. So let me just copy the indexer definition i hope this is the one this also i'm trying index definition okay now i need a query key and pick that up let me copy query key and I need a service name. So where do I find my service name? It's here. Right. So you go here, pick this service name. Lots of search is also not required. So this is my service name, right? Uh, so DP wiki dot. OK. Sorry. Let's see. Will it generate anything for me? Nothing is coming, right? No. It should be there in the index here. Let's see. Let's try to debug. If you want to, if you're interested in live coding. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. But anyways, uh, ultimately, if I go to the live demo here, right? So let me show you the live demo. There is a live demo here. It should show like this for us. OK, if I'm searching for. It should show up like this. So uh, anything if I type here, right? Uh, it should show up. So let me say. Hopefully there is something in Bangalore, nothing. 
nothing it's all us so even if i stay okay so this is how it, it they have built a ui uh, for this so you can build your own uh, test this out uh, i obviously we will go back and debug this uh, if you all to have time but something which i think we need to provide in all of this but it doesn't talk about it um, so i think make sure cause is enabled on the index so somewhere i need to enable the cause uh, i'm not sure where to enable that but yeah we should test it out cool so that is something which we need to do um, so here uh, we have the uh, we can easily create that indexer now which is uh, up and uh, running for us so on top of this we can go back and um, see that um, our cloud skill challenge i'll show you um, which is there no not here let me bring that up So I have provided a couple of learn modules like this in that um, and specifically the, the in those learn modules um, we will also go and we can also go and create um, host this uh, indexer. So basically we can create so you can see here once the whole thing is debug session and other things as well, you can open up the chat. Let me share this out for you first. OK, so all of those modules are here. Everything we have explored as of now. Um, I've almost completed all of these modules, which was there uh, in, in most of these sessions. And uh, for specifically, so, you know, search, I did this one. Uh, there you can build custom. Uh, again, these are 46, 46 minutes uh, modules. Uh, it will take some time to execute, but these are amazing modules. So just go there and execute it. Uh, you will you will understand how uh, this whole thing uh, can be used in different uh, ways. I mean, it's like a knowledge store. Uh, I didn't use it because when you saw that when, while creating the um, while creating this Azure, uh, you know, search cognitive right? cognitive search. Um, basically, there is something called as a knowledge store. We skip that part uh, and the, the reason is there is a complete module on that specific one. And uh, the custom skill is also uh, very interesting one. You can go there and uh, learn about how you can build a custom skill set and implement that custom skill. It's very simple. It's very uh, like you can go and uh, execute the similar exercise. There is lab again. Um, the exercise also talks about uh, how you can do it. Uh, again, all of these steps needs to be repeated. And in, in the module of 23rd one where you can go there and uh, add that it's nothing but a simple you know adding a couple of things uh, in the code right so that's that's the simplest way uh, this is a kind of a code which you need to write so ultimately um, what it does is i just want to show you here uh, if you have any questions just let me know but right so this is a whole Part of it, right? You have a data, you have the data in the blob storage. You take it and you just uh, upload it uh, onto the um, as we upload it uh, to the platform, and this platform will build uh, certain things. And you can enable a couple of skill sets, and also you do custom skill set. You also add store uh, once it has been indexer has been uh, created. You add it into a store, and then. Uh, use that uh, you know storage uh, to connect to the Power BI to visualize it. 
uh, or to connect to the Azure machine learning uh, predictable models. And then obviously you can use it as a part of your application as well. So these are three things which you can do. Um, you know, I just wanted to show this, but yeah, we can after the session, if people are interested, uh, we can go back and debug uh, why the other thing was not working, but we can go and check it out. I have not tried that before. Uh, that's something um, which I wanted to try, and uh, it's a pretty interesting one where it creates a complete uh, search experience for you uh, out of the box. It provides you an app uh, to create it. So any questions you have, uh, just let me know. I mean, you can use the mic, by the way. So Parth, if you can enable mic for everyone. Yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, just ask me, yeah. Or related to the series, people who came in late, uh, probably this is the one uh, where you can find. You just need to go to this. Um, it's 15 hours left to complete some of these modules, but yeah, it's a good one. Like you can spend this week weekend to complete a couple of things. And if not this one, uh, you just definitely go into the series and you will be able to uh, relate to all of these things because all of these things were covered uh, bit by bit uh, in this particular uh, series. And um, and we did a bunch of demos uh, in especially in all of these three, uh, specifically uh, face APIs to computer vision to custom vision and speech was very interesting. So take a look at it if you are interested in learning those uh, specific things as well. By the way, any specific questions? You have mics, by the way, the mics have been enabled. Um, so you can just unmute and ask questions or if there are no questions and if you want to, you know, uh, just you know, take a break on a Friday. I'll, I'll just share the link if you want uh, so that if you want to take up those modules, wait a sec. Let's miss this link. Cool. No questions? I think no more questions. Shall we wrap it up? Yep. So uh, any questions, just reach out to me on my social. Uh, but by the way, part you have um, anything else to share uh, or else we can close the session. You might have to stop the recording. <laughs> yes.